Oh, look at that one. Look at the, oh, look at the dendrites in that. Oh my God. Oh, that is so cool. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did. It's the first day of spring, the sun is shining, and I'm going rock hunting. Come along. This is an agate of some kind. You can see the dendrites on it right there. It's not super clear. It's got a lot of color in it. Somebody broke it and decided they didn't want it. But I do, because it's the first agate of the day. Woohoo! This place. I always find just beautiful agatized wood. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I probably won't take this one home because it's pretty big and heavy, but look at the colors and lines in this piece of jasmine. Wow. That's really nice. Oh. I originally was going to ignore this because it's clearly not a Montana agate. But check out those fortifications. Wow. This is what they call a treasure state agate. And these are even more rare than the Montana agates. Fun to see what that looks like cleaned up. Here's a little bitty agate. It was kind of sitting down here in the sand like this. And the agates on this end of the river, I'm sort of more towards the east, northeast, are much more colored, more yellow and orange colored. This is just a little nothing as far as agates go. But I saw it shining in the sun and it's just so pretty I had to pick it up. This is the kind of thing that I'm used to finding here. This beautiful piece of agatized wood. It's got even some jasper in it. That'll clean up nicely. This is the reason I wanted to come to this beach, or at least some place that had uh, that had a light, nice warm, nice wide gravel bar. The ice in the wintertime chunks up on the shore and it digs in and it makes these drifts of rocks and turns over things that maybe weren't seen last time. So I'm really hopeful that I'll find something cool. this. It's just a chunk of ice. Look at all the little icicles that have formed. Oh, that's so pretty. Check this out. Clearer than any crystal. You know, I don't usually pick up Jasper this far from the Jeep, but look at this piece. It's just got so much color. I bet if you cut this, 
it would be totally like picture stone. Yellowstone picture Jasper. I just discovered it. <laughs> polishes pretty well. I'm not going to bring much of this home, but I think this one is destined for my backpack. Somebody has been here and knocked this apart and decided that it wasn't worth taking. But I think, I think that this actually could be an iris agate. Looks like it's got some real fine lines here. I'm going to take it home. Theo's inspired me to try to find my own rainbow, so we'll see how it goes. Huh. I dropped this. And it broke here, and you can see very clearly that it's got a crystalline structure. Agate, the stuff we're looking for, is microcrystalline, which means you can't see the crystals when you look at it with the naked eye. So I guess the person was right all along. I'm not positive about this one, but I think this is a cool little agate nodule. Oh yes it is. Look at that. It's almost perfectly round. <laughs> oh my gosh, how fun is that? I like how the dimples show. It looks like a little moon, doesn't it? That is really cool. The ice, of course, is kind of a mixed blessing because it brings all this silt on top of the rocks. And so while they've been mixed up, they've also been covered with dirt. And that's where the squirt bottle really comes in handy. Wow, check this out. Again, not an agate, at least not the Montana kind. But those bands scream agate to me. Oh, why do I keep finding such beautiful rocks? Now I have to carry them. Check out this Jasper. This one looks kind of interesting. I don't think it's an agate, but it's sure hard like an agate. It's got some Bagot, maybe? Look at that. Look at the color in the middle of that thing. That is just stupendous. Yes, it's got to come home with me. is tinkling along the edge of the river and I just found this beautiful piece of agatized wood. Hi Katha. Really, Jim found this really beautiful piece of agatized wood and it has a surprise on the end. Check that out. 
That is so beautiful. Hang on, let me zoom in on this, eh? Oh, that's so pretty. I love it when that happens. That is one strange chunk you got there. Looks like part of a petrified brain. <laughs> or maybe a nose. <laughs> I had an uncle with a nose like that once. His name was Bernard. Bernard the Big Nose. If you're enjoying this video, be sure and click the subscribe button. Can you see it? Oh, you've got your anti glasses. Right there. Ooh. Oh, look at that one. Look at the, oh, look at the dendrites in that. Oh my God. Oh, that is so cool. That's what I was looking for. Oh. Man, that made the trip worthwhile. <laughs> it's been worthwhile anyway. That's right, I found my, my hard brain piece. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, look at this place. It's so beautiful and the sun is shining. Chunks of ice. It's just cool. Ice flows. More agatized wood. Woohoo! Jim just found this jazz bag and we were thinking, nah, 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 and then we turned it over and it's like, oh, we gotta take this home. didn't change it at all. <laughs> no, the water line tends to look like what it looks like. It's got some dendrites there. Turn it over. I bet if you ground that down, that would just be like this gorgeous, gorgeous blossom. Yeah. Another little agate. Can you see it? Uh, is it that orangish one? Yeah, yeah, isn't that crazy? <clears throat> the agates here are kind of orangey. Nice. Interesting. I feel like maybe this is an agate. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's just a big chunk of jasper. Ah, oh, darn. Had the right look. I think I want to find one more nice agate if I can. And if not, I'll just enjoy these ice crystals. I wouldn't say this one's a nice agate, but it is an agate. This is, this is some petrified wood that is completely different from the other petrified wood in the area. It's, it's mineralized as opposed to, well, they're all mineralized, but it has a softer mineral, mineral rather than the hard silica. I'm gonna take this piece home. I have not found any of this on the river before. It's mostly kind of more in North Dakota and that area. The sun is sinking down and we're headed back to the Jeep, but I just picked up this absolutely beautiful piece of brecciated jasper. It is almost, it almost has these red jasper veins into the, the white quartzy material. I don't know if it even could be called breccia, but it sure is pretty. This is not a blue agate. This is blue porcelainite, but look, look at how blue it is. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? 
we've polished this before. It polishes very nicely. So again, I'm bringing it home. One more little agate. The river saying goodbye. If you want to share in these treasures, check out my Etsy store, Katie Did Rocks. The link is in the description below. There's just nothing quite like going outside in the sunshine after a long winter. I had so much fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing. <laughs>